Roman conquests of the tribes of central Italy have bred fear among the Greek colonists to the south. To their rescue comes a Macedonian, King Pyrrhus of Epirus, who lands in Italy with a mighty army, including war elephants captured in the east. If Rome were to lose to the ambitious Pyrrhus, her southern expansion would be halted. If Pyrrhus can be defeated, however, Rome's victory would awaken the world to her growing power. The Senate is sending you, Consul, to meet these Greeks in battle and show them that their fears are well deserved. For the first time, foreign men will know the fearsome might of Rome. Alrighty, folks, hello and welcome back to the Rise of Rome campaign. We are on scenario two, Pyrrhus of Epirus. The objective is to destroy the Macedonians without losing our two town centers. This is actually a pretty challenging mission, um, one that focuses very heavily on the sea to begin with and then transitions into a land army afterwards. Let's begin. I'm going to want to make full use of all of the um, fish eco in this game. One mission. We actually have four docks, which is a pretty good boon to start with. All of these, they are useless to us. Our focus early should be going on to food, with a little bit of wood eco to follow up. Obviously we've got the fishing boats which should massively help with the food production. And essentially what we need to try and do is protect ourselves, um, just use the scouts um, purely as defence for now. Uh, the enemy has age 4 which is iron age and triems and catapult triems so our poor little scouts don't stand a chance. All we need to do is upgrade to the next age as soon as possible um, and then make full use of um, the war galleys that we get from that. I'm actually going to put one on stone. Um, we do have a use for stone a little bit later on. A couple of uh, bowmen which we can utilise for our defence. And it's around about the 10 minute mark that we need to be prepared for. So the enemy does have a dock here that we can take out, but we'll take that out once we've deflected all of their attacks. And there's a much more heavily defended dock over here, um, which we'll need Catapult Trium to take care of. So that will be definitely a down the road type of situation. Oh. So war galleys and fishing boats are the two things you want to focus on first. She's going to link up all of these docks now. There are two locations the enemy tends to land and it's here or here. So we need to have two control groups really to take care of both options. We don't know which one they're going to use. It can vary from mission to mission. Now I don't know what the triggers are other than they seem to have a mind of their own. <laughs> you need to build walls as well eventually. So we'll grab that upgrade now lest we forget. Just going to grab upgrades with this particular dock. The rest of our supplies should go into um, wall boats now. We are going to want to hit the next age up as soon as possible too. 
Who, however, wants to take two people with us. Government centre there. Go to siege workshop. Maxed out now. The enemy will be attacking us any moment. These guys on gold now. So, I, in my opinion, the experience is better to be defensive than offensive. But we do need to keep a very close eye for the enemy um, transports. They are exactly what we're dealing with. They are the big threat. Okay, they normally send th between three and five. Five tends to be the uh, typical number. So we need to make sure that we are in position to block them off. That's three. Tend to send one more as well, but it tends to be a bit staggered. So not quite out the woods just yet, but a very good start. We need to go towards um, catapult triams. Feeling pretty confident they're not going to attack with any more transports. What's that? It's just another triam. Oh, they did. Cheeky. They're overconfident. I didn't think they would uh, send another after that, but they did. Well, that gives us a bit of a problem. Just watching that sky, that's for sure. Regardless, we're going to need to deal with uh, this. We need to take care of the dock as well.
take care of this duck, because this is the easy one to take care of, and then we'll deal with the tricky one. Luckily the enemies don't rebuild buildings on this mission, which is ideal. Be a royal pain if they did. Kind of want about four catapult triums to take care of all of their defences. Got the upgrade, so let's make a start. Triums, although to be fair, I think we should have enough now. Once we take care of the dock, we can start focusing entirely on land. Lost our gold eco. Rough. Guys over here. Okay, so next up we want to be focusing on Centurions and um, Heliopolis. Both of these require a decent amount of upgrade. So, and they have a lot of resources as well, so we're going to have to focus a bit more heavily on resources, at least for the short term. And start building farm eco as well. That was misplaced. Sure, what the story is there, but okay. Bombus. 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 
Right, now the land phase begins. I'm gonna probably kill these off to be honest. Dun 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 da 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 Got too many on gold. Just more towards wood. Ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 Grab the heavy transport. So we should make a start on upgrades as well. Who's the big one? We need a massive army of Heliopolis and we need a um, decent number of Centurions as well. Both of which are very expensive upgrades. And require a good amount of setup too. So th there is a limitation of gold, we've got three here, we've got a little bit here and we've got a little bit here, but once that runs out that is all the gold in the mission that we can actually obtain at least, reasonably. You don't have to worry about ships anymore. That ship phase is completely over. We do need to grab the upgrades, however. And then it is just a bit of a slow build up. The enemy can't really attack us. We can't really attack them right now. It's a bit of a stalemate. Until we hit our critical mass and then we can start pushing into the enemy. Now there's two ways we can go about it. The first is to just push down here is very difficult but also probably a more straightforward option the other option is to land here however because we've destroyed a load of their stuff it's very difficult to reinforce and it's a very micro intensive in trying to keep bringing your transports back and forth so I actually think we are gonna destroy this wall when we're ready and we're gonna push down here I'm gonna build a little couple of buildings here over as well make our lives a lot easier Point where I kind of want more food than anything else. This is actually a pretty worthwhile upgrade. Because we may very well have to transition. If we run out of gold, we will have to transition to something that doesn't cost gold. And um, Scythian chariots are probably the best option we have. 
in the Roman uh, arsenal. Dun 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 See, what we don't want to be doing is getting engaged in a lock in a tug of war with this enemy. What we want to do is have one decisive blow. Hence why we're biding our time. Till we're ready. But the benefit of having Scythian chariots is the fact that they don't cost gold, they just cost food and wood. Which are, I'm not going to go ahead and say they're infinite resources, but they are a lot easier to obtain than gold in this mission. And they're also really good. Genuinely. I think we need to now start killing off the fishing boats. Serve their purpose. Don't have any more anywhere. Yes, three. To be honest, yeah, we've got enough food. We're, we're good on the food front. As in, we've got plenty of income. gonna have to kill off a couple of villagers before we push out just so that we can get a much larger max army we'll probably kill these guys off once they do that gold that is not a good place for you guys to stand we'll take the free kills though Cavalry can't actually get to us because of the wall. In fact, the more the enemy send this way, the better. Looks like they're sending the whole, whole shebang. This is very good. We need to focus these, however. Okay, well if ever there was an opportune moment to attack, this is looking like it is it. He's just thrown away a load of troops. Erectus. The good thing with uh, Heliopolis is that there's no friendly fire. Unlike with catapults. We want to be a bit careful here, however. Um, Most amount of like backup troops, even though we've got a load of Heliopolis. We are a little bit shy on Centurions and other things. 
It's probably also worth picking a couple of cat bolts, to be honest, as well. Whilst Heliopolis are fantastic, they aren't the best at destroying buildings. They can destroy buildings. They have good range. But their damage output against buildings is not fantastic. Okay, they are pretty much just producing things by the one, which is good. We do need to take care of these before we can push forward. So they don't do the most amount of damage, but they just fire hella fast, they got good range. So whilst they are very good at destroying buildings, there's catapults are generally better. But yeah, Heliopolis absolutely insanely powerful units. And once you get a critical mass, not even cataphract stand a chance. Even though cataphracts are technically the uh, hard counter. No, hit that. We really want to be taking out the cavalry thing first, even though there's, there's an argument to be said for taking down their uh, siege workshop first. Their infantry is not a problem at all to deal with. Their cavalry, oof. It is the real threat. And to be fair, horse archers are also arguably uh, some of the biggest problems that we deal with, but take care of this and they shouldn't have much of anything left. That was insane targeting from the AI. Okay, we should have free reign now to kill them. That was all of their military buildings. But yeah, tricky, tricky mission this one to be fair. Yeah, this is why we can't do a tug of war because they got so much gold they can just utilize. Take care of the TC, and that should be. Uh, she should resign, hopefully, after that. There we go. Beautiful. Against Pyrrhus's war elephants and well trained phalanxes, the Romans suffered initial setbacks. In time, however, the legions of Rome triumphed driving the Macedonians from Italy and opening the door for expansion into the south of the peninsula and the island of Sicily. All of Rome salutes you, Consul. Da, 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 da. Alrighty, folks, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel, would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and as always, I shall see you in the next video.